Thanks for joining us on Plus News Now. I am Maureen Menon Mwezigwe. The Federal Executive Council has ratified the finance bill for the 2022 fiscal year. This draft bill was prepared by the Fiscal Policy Committee and it has been forwarded to the National Assembly for consideration. Minister of Finance Zainab Ahmed stated this as part of the resolutions reached at the Federal Executive Council meeting. The minister said the bill focuses on reviewing some tax and fiscal law towards enhanced revenue generation. For Council's ratification, the Finance Bill 2021 for the 2022 fiscal year. I'm sure you will have all noted that this bill has already been transmitted by His Excellency the President to the National Assembly and both houses are already, have already started working on the bill. So this draft bill was prepared by the Fiscal Policy Committee and it focused on tax and uh, uh, reviewing some fiscal laws and also amending some. And these laws are about 11 in number that have been affected. And the purpose for us is to be able to refine our fiscal laws to improve tax compliance and also to enhance uh, revenue generation. So the proposed uh, um, legislation falls under five broad categories. The first one, of course, is domestic revenue mobilization. And various measures are proposed in the, in the bill to enhance revenue. And this includes, uh, one, limiting exempt exemptions of gains from shares, disposals from capital gains tax to long-term equity investments. And two, uh, closing tax loopholes for companies that are transiting from the previous Patreon profit tax uh, regime to the dual corporate tax and hydrocarbon tax regime that is provided under the, uh, the new Petroleum Industry Act of 2021. Three, there's also provisions that have been made to prevent the abuse of personal income tax reliefs by individual taxpayers um, uh, and allowances to evade taxation. The second broad category is tax administration reforms, and this include provisions to support the FIRS ongoing reforms to fully automate and deploy technology to enhance collections and encourage taxpayer compliance. And there are several measures in that category. But the third one is um, international taxation reforms. These provisions empower the FIRS to better assess non-resident companies to taxation by taxing profits derived from digital services rendered to Nigerian customers. And it's also designed to reduce the tax compliance burdens for non-resident taxpayers that are not required to register in Nigeria as, as uh, companies. The third uh, broad uh, objective of the finance bill is financial, financial reforms to enhance tax equity. Most of these provisions that have been made in the bill, uh, the provisions that have been made are to enhance ongoing capital market reforms relating to securities lending transactions, real estate investment trusts, as well as the minimum taxation reductions that have been pioneered by the previous two finance bills. And the, uh, the fifth uh, um, uh, principle is critical public financial management reforms. These reforms are designed to strengthen the FIRS tax administration and coordination role in relation to the collection of taxes vis-a-vis -vis the responsibilities of relevant law enforcement agencies such as the Nigerian police or the EFCC. And also to ensure and, uh, and uh, reinforce the supremacy of the fiscal rules and regulations as provided for by the Finance Controls and Management Act, as well as the 1999 Constitution as, uh, as amended. So having made these provisions, I just want to emphasize that rather than proposing new taxes or increasing tax rates, the finance bill for the 2022 fiscal year focused on closing loopholes and improving tax administration to enable the Federal Inland Revenue Service play its expected role of leading in the collection of existing taxes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.